welcome back all right so in here let's see how to delete an entire thread so it's pretty much the same as deleting a single one only that we delete an entire thread okay so let's go to our folder in includes the same one that says delete message let me just copy and paste this one and just say excuse me delete thread we change it to delete thread and open it up. So in this case, what was sent was the raw ID uh, in that first time, but this time we're going to send the user ID. So if we come back to our, okay, so there's a message ID. So what we want is the user ID here so that we know the user because we know our own user ID. So then we can delete all messages where the sender or the receiver is, uh, the sender or the receiver is is correct. Is one of, if I'm either one of the sender and the receiver, then we can delete. Now, of course, it's not actual deletion. We are simply, uh, we're simply selecting here, changing this to a one, sorry. So it's going to be almost the same as this. So what I will do is the only difference is uh, instead of an, a single ID, we're going to be looking for, let's come back to chats here. So this is the query we are going to be looking for because this is a query we use to read our messages. So I'm just going to copy this one from there and come back here to delete thread and paste it here. Boom. Word wrap, of course. Okay, so the only thing we need to remove is actually this deleter sender is equal to zero. We don't actually need that. So let me go down here and remove the other one as well. But everything else uh, remains the same. So this is the query right here and we don't need to put a limit no need to order anything. It's going to be like that. So this query right here is going to read all the messages, whether they are deleted or not. It's going to read all the messages from this particular thread. Okay. So then once we read those messages and we find that there's actually uh, an answer here, we will loop through those messages and do exactly what we're doing right here. So here I'm just going to say for each, where is this, for each, something like this. So instead of doing this here, we're just going to say result, let's get this result and put it here. And then as raw, so I'm going to put raw here. Okay, so result is raw. And so raw now has been transferred to there. So we can loop for as many times as required. So for each loop, we'll check who is the sender and who's the receiver. And then we're going to use the ID of the current thing to delete as required. So that's about it. So let me, okay, that's great. So the only thing is we need to look for the user ID here. So let me change raw ID to user ID. Great. And now here I'm going to set one to send and one to receiver. So we've already done this in here. So I'm just going to copy that from chats.php, delete thread, come back here and paste so let me do move move there we go so from there user id right and then that one there okay great so this actually settles it the only thing is now i have to go to index.php here and when oh, let me come back here to chats where i actually Oh, it's an API.php. We actually created the delete this this thread. I have to put an on click listener copy 
and then I'm going to put it here I suppose and instead of delete message it's going to be delete thread and that's it so oh one more thing go back to index.php right where there's delete uh, right here where there's delete message instead I'm going to duplicate this one and say <clears throat> excuse me delete thread are you sure you want to delete this whole thread okay so if you are sure about that we don't need to get an attribute here what we will need is a user id so user id now we're going to get the user id from the current chat user right there so user id current chat user so let me copy that and put it here like this so which means we don't need that here out and then here delete thread like so okay so that part is done so this delete thread here now we go to api.php because we need to redirect this particular thing as well here so instead of delete messages delete message let's duplicate and change message to thread like this thread and that's it I think I haven't missed anything so we should just observe here because this is the same conversation so it should delete at least there should be a one on one of these if we delete all of the thread so let me try this from here as Mary I want to delete the entire thread okay so I should see all of these guys disappear which has not happened so let's go back to console syntax error oops cannot play media what's happening here okay we check that out uh, syntax error okay so it means there's an error here so to see the error let's go back to index.php so we can sort it out real quick right here on handle let's do an alert handle result so let me refresh here boom boom go here okay way too much data oops delete thread okay so there we go invalid parameter number compared to the number of variables okay online 59 uh -huh. okay so it just means uh let me remove this the number of variables is less so let's come back here to delete thread so just saying oh right that's why so there's only that one there and that's because here we are using a instead of a a r r so let's put double r double r that should sort the problem out now so refresh boom delete thread okay and everything is gone right but let's log in as this one so that we can see if there are messages there so let me go here password so the messages here are still there so let me send another message hello great so oops what has happened here oh nothing has happened there it is so if now I log out and log in, I should find some more messages from um, from Mary. Oh, from is it from Mary? Which user was I? Now I'm getting confused. Oh, there we go. So received one message. Great. So everything is working fine. The only thing remaining is how to add files to our messages, images more specifically. So I'll see you in a later video.